So if y'all check it out. Anyone remember these old wizard poster mania specials? So I found this random uh, issue, 2004 issue, uh, in, a, in a pile of stuff. Uh, but I know I have more of these. I mean, I, I I'm sure I have a collection of these. Probably don't. I I don't think I'd have every one. But um, you know, back in the day, in, in Wizards' heyday, you know, I collected the magazine uh, regularly. I know I was a subscriber at various points. You know, not not for the entire run, but uh, at, at various points, uh, as well as with uh, Toy Fair, especially. You know, I think. Um, as I started to make that transition from from collecting comics less and focusing solely on action figures and, and toys, you know, Toy Fair became, you know, my main magazine for its uh its life, you know, of Wizard uh magazine. Um again though I I wouldn't have the entire run, a complete set of the entire run, but I, I would think actually with Toy Fair I have most of them. You know, no, I don't have all of them for sure. I, there were times where I, I stopped reading for a while or just missed issues for whatever reason. Anyway, Wizard Special Publication Poster Mania 2004. Thought I'd give you guys a look at these for, for those of you who, who remember these. And this might be a little trip down memory lane. Uh, but for those who... <laughs> I hate to say it, but especially for, for those younger folks who might be into comics now, but, you know, are just too young to be around during, uh, or, or have been into them during the, uh, the wizard days. So, uh, if I find, no, if, when I find, uh, other ones, I'll probably show those as well. But, you know, for now that I give you guys a look at this, there's a bag that shows some of the, uh, highlights. Um, Looking at the size of these, and and I I taken out the um the staples. I probably you know intended to to hang these. Um, but looking at the size of it, I think this might be complete. If anything, I might it might be missing a couple that uh, maybe I I ended up hanging or or even giving away. Um, what's cool is there is a a guide here. Um, so let's go ahead. Let me find the middle of this so that there you go. And I think it goes this way. Let's see, poster number one, Ultimates and Spider-Man. Now I like how it tells you uh the artist and what it's from. It's I think most of these are, are covers for something at some point. Not all not some of them are from comics, some of them are from magazines or whatever but really cool how it uh it tells you the artist uh, in case you're not familiar so this one is um ultimates and spider-man and what's cool about this actually i want to say um i think i i can actually appreciate these more now than i would have back then because i think back then like the 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 characters i was into Either were were not as much as now, or or were were like different focus. Like I, I actually, I want to say two thousand four. You know, I was always into like Marvel and DC, but I think throughout like later, you know, in the nineties and the early two thousands, I was you know like a lot of people. I, I jumped ship and I was like more into like Image and other independent uh, stuff. You know, because that was big back then. And, you know, it's it's kind of come back around to where it's really all about Marvel and DC. Um, and a lot of those big guys <laughs> that that jumped ship from Marvel and DC, you know, came back to Marvel and DC. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so the point is, like, stuff like this, I probably, you know, I, I was into them, but I, I wouldn't, you know, I, I'm simple just like i said you know probably more into them now than than i would have been back then anyway uh supreme power not familiar with that one. Oh, that's this one's cool seeing like this for example daredevil is one of those characters that um like a lot of actually a lot of characters now um i wasn't into you know back in the day until uh 
not just MCU, some of them, you know, like earlier movies, like the X-Men movies and even the original Daredevil movie. I know a lot of fans hated it, but I loved it. A character like Daredevil, who I really never took notice of. Uh, it took the movies and especially the, the, the Netflix MCU version that much more into Daredevil. Um, Thor is another one. Doctor Strange. Like, I, I, I was never a fan of these characters from the, the comics back in the day. But, you know, thanks to the MCU and stuff. So this one is a Daredevil and Elektra by Udon. Really cool. That is, that is a cool piece. So I, I almost... Uh, I want to find my other ones, and I want I want to put a bunch of these. Like I just want to fill a wall with these. Like this is definitely what I would put on the wall now. I wouldn't have back then, but now. This one is Ultimate Spider-Man, Wolverine, and Thing. That's really cool. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Hellboy and Wolverine. Check that out. Check out that Doctor Doom right there. Oh, that is an awesome, awesome piece of work right there. Captain America. That's an interesting image of Captain America. Fantastic Four, or Ultimate Fantastic Four, I should say. I'm looking at the guide right there. Oh, look at this. Mystique. Oh, that is nice. I love this. What's this artwork? Uh, Mike Mayhew. I love that kind of artwork. Really cool. Ooh, check out that. That looks like a movie. Movie Spider-Man. Spider-Man and Dr. Octopus by Greg Horn. That's really cool. Oh, man. Look at this Electra right there. That is some awesome, awesome artwork. Uh, art by Rodolfo Migliari. Not familiar on there. There's the uh, signature right there, but oh, that is this is this is gonna go up for sure. This is uh, I think this is is this Ultimate Iron Man, but it's Iron Man. That looks really cool too. Wolverine. Nice. That is that's really cool. Oh, look at this Venom. That is a bad ass Venom. That's the art. Oh, look, it's by Sam Keith. I was like, why does that look kind of familiar? Uh, I was I was big, you know, in the image days, I was big into the Max. That looks cool, you know, with the with Venom, the movie upcoming, and you know, there's gonna be a lot of hype around Venom. This is gonna be a cool poster. To, I'm definitely probably gonna have to put that one up. Oh, look at this Wolverine right there, bursting up from the grave. It's cool. Like another Wolverine. One thing's for sure in the history of comics. Ever since Wolverine's got popular, he's never lost steam. He's always super popular, you know, always will be, I think. Um, and this is, uh, look at that, um, X-Men 2 movie prequel, Wolverine. That's interesting. So that's, that's supposed to be movie Wolverine right there. Look at this Spider-Man piece. Who's that? This art looks interesting. It looks kind of familiar, too. Yeah, Humberto Ramos. I remember there was a book he did. Um, I, I, I don't remember if it was under image, but I was I was really into some something he was doing. I have to go through my comic collection again one of these days too. Oh, whoa! Look at this Emma Frost right there. Holy crap! Yeah, that's by Greg Horn as well. Yeah, that is. That has got to go up on the wall. Yes. What? Okay, so what version of Wolver... Oh, wait, you know what? So it looks like a Thermal of Frost, there was supposed to be a Hulk, so I guess I am missing one there. And somewhere on the flip side of that, 
uh, it will be missing, but yeah, so Wolverine. So not familiar with this version of Wolverine for a second there. I thought I was flipping out the Punisher? Nope, it's Wolverine, so yeah. Oh, look at that. Spider-Man and villains. I love pieces like this where there's this like so much going on and it's like Spider-Man versus uh, all these spider <laughs> Spider-Mans versus all those Spidey villains. That's cool. Uh, what's next? Hulk. That's a cool Hulk poster right there. Conan the Barbarian. That's really cool. I've always been a fan of uh, the movies. I'm pretty sure I have some of the comics as well. Oh, look at that Street Fighter one. Yeah, I recognize that. Joe Mad... I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it. Madeira? I forget. There was also something, you know, during the image days that he was doing that I was a big fan of. I can't remember off the top of my head, but again, I'll just have to take a trip down memory lane with my comic collection one of these days. But I always loved his artwork. You know, at at the time, you know, it was cutting edge, bringing that you know anime style to uh to comics. Really cool. So on the flip side of this, oh, I think first it goes back to the very beginning. Uh, I'm gonna bring them here. And then, let's see, see that one, and then flip that over. There you go. Iron Man, Captain America, and Red Skull. So, not really familiar with what this is depicting from whatever comics it was at the time. So this one, poster number 26, is Punisher. Uh, I guess this was a cover to something. Interesting image, not not familiar with the rendition. What do we got here? So it's Iron Man. Iron Man with like Doctor Doom again. I don't really know what was going on so much with Marvel Comics at the time. So I'm sure this is probably portraying something that was <laughs> relevant at the time. Aphrodite, was it 9? Not 100% sure of my Roman numerals right now, but I think it's nine. I remember I was a fan of the character, too. I, I definitely collected the uh, the books. Top Cow, I love the Top Cow stuff. And then, what do we got next? Ooh, another Emma Frost. On, another one by Greg Horn. Oh, that one's hot as well. It's almost like, wow, which one to put up? Oh, I don't want to be redundant. Put up two pinups of the same character by the same artist, but why choose? Why not just put up both? Hot damn, that's hot. Uh, Magdalena, another cool Top Cow uh, book. I was into her as well. I'm sure, I got a bunch of her comics. And then Brandy. This one I'm not too familiar with. I don't know if it's one of those books I just. I skipped over, most likely. It was an image, though. Uh, Aspen. Yeah. Uh, from Fathom, I believe, right? Really cool. I know I collected, collected those comics as well. Ooh, look at that. Cobra Commander, Stone Shadow, Snake Eyes, and Billy. During the Devil's Due era, I was a big fan of the Devil's Due era of G.I. Joe. Really cool. Darkness, another one of the the flagship uh, top cow books. Pretty cool. This was from Cross Gen. What's her name here? Uh, Arwen. Cover to Sojourn number twenty. Yeah, I know. I, I collected some of the Cross Gen stuff, but I didn't really read them. I wasn't really that interested. Hellboy. Really cool. And that one's by Mignola. Iconic. Here's another. Is this? Yeah, another Aspen. That's cool. Uh, 
Oh no, that's Grace. So not not too familiar with the character Transformers and GI Joe. That's cool. Another mystique. That one's nice. The other one's nicer, but can't complain. Oh, -hoo -hoo. Laura Croft from the Top Cow comics. Gotta love that one. Madman. Never. I was never really a fan. I didn't really read. I might have some issues, but wasn't really a fan. Nice Vampirella one right there. And then, so that one. So I guess this is the other side. This might be the other side because I'm missing that R one. There's, there, yeah, there's two R ones. Anyway, G Force. Really cool. I was into the cartoon when I was a kid. Optimus Prime. I forgot what the series was called. Is that War Within? I'm not sure. Something like that. Check that out. Star Wars Villains. That's what it says right there. Oh, that is really cool. Who's this art by? Art by Udon. No wonder. Really cool. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, that's that's really cool rendition right there. Winding down. Oh, this is the last one. And Spider-Man. The one from the cover. There you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. More to come.